Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We will continue with our SQL and Learning System training. In today's lesson, we will talk about delay of purchase invoice. In SQL, you can key in the purchase invoice either in purchase invoice or supplier invoice. You may also key in directly under GL cash book entry as a payment voucher for expenses. Now, in GST, you may face one problem is you purchase something in April, for example, but you only receive the purchase invoice from your supplier in a later uh, date where you already submit the GST return and you will face this problem. So in our example, I can show you that we have already processed for April until June, but you only receive the purchase invoice from your supplier for a purchase which you purchase in April. For example, you purchase this thing in April, so your supplier send you the invoice dated as April, but it's sent in November. So when you save, you will encounter this message. GSD already processed for April until June, so you're not able to key in. Now, a lot of so-called software consultant will ask you to change the date of that document. You cannot do this. This is totally wrong because you must follow exactly the hard copy or document sent by your supplier for the document date. Now, in SQL, the solution will be right-click at this payment purchase invoice. Then you can see something called set tax date. So normally, you can set the tax date according to the date you receive the purchase invoice. For example, today, then you set today. And over the hard copy, you can chop date received as at today also. So by doing this, you are able to save. What will happen is the purchase will still go back to April, but the GST is claimed at the later stage. Okay, you have six years to claim back your input tax. So no worry about this. The same things can go to your GL payment voucher. That means your expenses. You also can do the same things. You also can do the set tax date. Okay, so this is how you handle a delay of purchase invoice in SQL accounting system. If you do have time, please drop by at my Facebook. It's facebook.com slash syntax technologies. Help me to like my page. You can get all the latest info regarding GST and also SQL accounting system over here. Or you just want to refer back to uh, other SQL tutorial video, just go to syntax.com. Click on YouTube and you have all the tutorial video over here. That's all for today and once again I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.